One thing parents always want their kids to do more of is read. Today, the Indianapolis Central Library is celebrating reading along with African American culture with today's Fall Fest. And here to talk about it today is Michelle Hayes with the library. And she's brought a very special guest, Yesa Wood. She's got a big part in today's event, and we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Thank you both so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you me. for inviting us. Michelle, I'm going to go to you first so folks just have a general idea of what Fall Fest is and what they can find there. Well, today it's going to be Fall Fest Slamming Rhymes and it's going to be from 12 to 4 at Central Library, which is 40 East St. Clair. So this is going to be open to everyone mm -hmm. in the public. It's free. It's for children and actually people of all ages. We're going to have interactive activities so some people have an opportunity to even come up on stage and enjoy uh, the entertainment that we're going to have and Kwame Alexander is going to be our keynote speaker. So he's a noted author and a Newbery winner. So we're really excited about today's event. What's the importance of an event like this in our city? It's a great time to come together and to see what's going on culturally, uh, to be able to uplift young people, people like Yesa, <laughs> who's going to be reading her own original poetry. And so to be able to have that kind of exposure uh, in a large crowd that's very supportive, I think that's invaluable. And Yesa does have a big part in today's event. I know you will be reading some of your poetry, as Nichelle just said. How did you prepare for all this? It just happened. <laughs> it just happened. You just wrote it out. Well, you can tell you've got a great sense of art and style, so we're excited to hear a little bit of what you've written. And I think, did you memorize it? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, you, it, the stage is yours, ma'am. Go ahead. Okay. My name is Yesa Wood, and my poem is I Dare to Dream. I dare to dream that one day we will be free. I did a dream that one day there would be no seen difference between you and me. I'm tired of us getting killed by people who judge us by the color of our skin. It's as if being black is a sin. I did a dream that one day there's no hate, where everyone is accepted for their differences. I did a dream that there's peace, peace at home and abroad, because no man is an idol of his own. I did a dream that there's respect, respect to our nation. Let unity and tranquility be our declaration. All of this can be possible and true, but it takes work and dedication from me and you. Wow. wow. Beautiful. Was Incredible. Very powerful. very powerful. And so well written and so well spoken. And I know folks will be excited to see you today. So there'll be other folks like Yesa as well, right? Yes. So our Slamming Rhymes uh, Poetry uh, Challenge, where we allow middle school and high school students to submit their original poetry. And our topic for this year was Dare to Dream, as mm -hmm. Yesa already spoke to. And so uh, 11 winners uh, will be able to speak their original poetry, and everyone will get a gift card for participation. So we're really excited about every having everyone come down, and then they will be able to meet Kwame Alexander. He'll be wow. presenting the awards. And Yesa, so inspiring to see young folks like you getting involved. Again, we've got the information on your screen right there. Noon to four, is it free? It is free. Okay, free guys. To the public. No excuses, right? you got to be there. Uh, totally free. Thank you both, Nichelle and Yesa, for coming in and for sharing those powerful words right now with us and uh, during a kind of tough time for our country. So thank you so much. Thank we you, appreciate Naomi. it.